Well, praise the Lord. And uh, folks, I just wanted to bring to your attention that uh, if you could remember us in your prayers, um, we are running out of space. Our account is getting to the point where we're at 110 hours. We're thankful to Spreaker that they gave us 10 extra uh, hours for free. Uh, but we have now run out. We're getting close to running out. I shouldn't say we've run out, but we're getting close to running out. And we're going to have to upgrade again. So if you'll help us, we appreciate it. Uh, pray. If you'd like to donate, whatever you'd like to do to help, uh, you can. If you'd like to help, just contact us. Uh, leave us a note. Let us know, and we'll get in contact with you. Um, I do believe that the Lord would have us to upgrade. The last time that I started to delete some of the sermons um, so that we wouldn't go over our quota or our allotted quota, um, the Lord rebuked me. He says, what are you doing? Uh, you, what are you doing deleting the Word of God? So I guess sometimes our vision, our, our faith can wean, our, or not wean, but wane. Our faith can get small and we think, well, I guess we get our eyes on the problem instead of keeping our eyes on the on the answer. The Lord owns it all. So, but we do know that we need to uh, upgrade our account. So if you'll keep that in prayer, we appreciate that. Um, tonight, we're going to be looking at this uh, thought that truth endureth forever. As I was riding along in the car, these, this thought began to come to me. I started thinking about the different things and how so many things are going to pass away. And how the scripture says that even as the flowers fade away, that the people of this world are going to fade away. But the truth endureth forever. Isn't that exciting? Now, if the only thing that's going to endure is truth, and don't get me wrong, I know mercy endureth forever. We know that there's other things in the Scripture that say they endure forever. But I want to focus tonight on truth. Truth endureth forever. And I want to help you to understand that truth is real. It's not just when we read our Bibles and that's truth. The very essence of truth endureth forever. The Lord holds everything together. Everything consists because of truth. Everything consists because of Him. Right now, the scientists are talking about black matter. and It's all truth. Amen. When they look at this word matter and they try to say, well, what is this matter? Where did it come from? The Big Bang or where did it come from? No. In the scripture, Solomon said the matter, the sum of the whole matter, the word matter in the original Hebrew means a word. Isn't that interesting? And we know that in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God and the Word was God and the same was in the beginning with God. And we know that God spoke everything into existence. How? Through His Word. Amen. Through His Son. Praise God. You think about it with me. I mean, if you don't, by the end of this message, have a greater respect, a greater love for the truth, you should have a greater love for truth by the end of this message. Psalm chapter 117. Psalm 117, verse 2. For his merciful kindness. I love that. 
My. For his merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. The truth endureth forever. Praise God. Jesus said, Heaven and earth will pass away, but he said, My words will not pass away. So Jesus was saying, Heaven and earth will pass away. He said, But my words shall endure forever. Folks, the things Jesus said when he was on this earth, if we could only grasp it, if we could only understand the value of what Jesus said, his truth endureth forever. Amen. Let's open our spirit up. Let's open up our heart wide open. Amen. And receive the words of Jesus. Now, that doesn't mean that there's not truth all through the Bible. I just, I'm focusing on what Jesus said. Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the life. No man can go unto the Father but by me. Jesus said, I am the truth. He said, truth will endure forever. Amen. Jesus was speaking concerning Satan and he said, he abode not in the truth. And when he speaks a lie, he speaks of himself. He's the father of the lie. He's the origin of the lie. That means before the devil, there was never a lie. In other words, the devil made it up. It's an illusion. It's not real. Amen. Everything outside of truth, brothers and sisters, is going to pass away. And the only reason that the devil, the false prophet, the fallen angels, and the souls that sin against God, the only reason that they are going to endure forever, even in hell, even in the lake of fire, is because they came from God. Amen? They came from truth. They came from truth. Lucifer came from the truth. What he is now is perversion, is judgment. Lucifer was judged and the scripture says his wisdom became corrupted. That's what it says in the scripture. The wisdom that God put within him became corruption. Why is the world filled with corruption? Because they reject the truth. If I can help you tonight to love the truth, love the truth. What does the scripture say? Because they would not receive the love of the truth, God himself would send them a strong delusion 
Who's sending the delusion? God is sending the delusion. How important is it to love the truth? I mean to get to the point where you are in love with the truth. Love the truth. Did you know you can't love the truth without the spirit of truth? Did you know you got to empty out of yourself and be filled with the spirit of truth to love the truth? You can't love the truth like the spirit of truth can love the truth. And there's a union taking place very soon between the spirit of truth and the truth, between the Holy Ghost and Jesus or the Son of God in the believer. There's a marriage taking place. The fullness of the Spirit, the fullness of truth in the believer that's going to produce the man-child that's going to be caught up to God and to His throne. Now, unless the Lord gives me more, I don't have more to give you. I, I, I would hope He would give us some more. I long that He gives us some more. Amen that we may just have a tremendous passion. Can you just sense that in your own spirit, like there's this hunger? Are you hungering and thirsting for truth? Are you hungering and thirsting for righteousness? They that hunger and thirst for righteousness are after righteousness. They shall be made complete. They shall be filled. Do you love the truth more than anything? A lot of folks say they love Jesus and it's it's as goes as far as his humanity. They never get beyond the fact that he's a man. They never see that he is truly the son of God. Amen. Jesus said to his own immediate disciples, he said, "Will you also go away?" And Peter spoke up and he said, Where are we going to go, Lord? Thou only has the, thou hast the words of eternal life. You are the ones, you are the one with the words of eternal life. Where are we going to go? And this is the same one that said, Precious promises. What, what a tremendous servant. Amen. What a tremendous apostle. What a tremendous servant that Peter became. You look at the transformation that took place in his life. What a change. What a change. I mean, for him to say precious promises... The depths, to understand the depths of how far God brought Peter. God can do that in our life. I believe he is doing it in our life. Amen. I'm becoming more and more in love with truth. Getting more in love with, when I see the scriptures it says, Multiply the peace. Multiply your peace. I start thinking about that. Brothers and sisters, that is the real riches. That's the true riches. This is the riches that endure. Amen? Seek for the riches that are above. Real riches, true riches, the riches of His grace. All of this comes from truth. All of God's goodness, all of His mercy, all of His riches, everything about Him, it all comes out of truth, praise God. When you look up at the stars in the evening at night, and you look at the stars and the beautiful...